please check it once balachandra i have because already i selected the option here like uh, hello record i already selected okay so do one thing okay you do one thing balachandra you connect again once again you connect okay let me try once again yeah uh, here it is more than uh, yeah i am selecting here hello record uh, please check it once balachandra Okay, fine, Balachan. Then, then we'll start now. Shall we continue, Balachan? Okay. So this this was the topic we are discussing. This is the second unit in our essay two. This is the second unit we are discussing regular expressions with the grep. So, what is grep? We'll discuss, and uh, with grep, we are going to discuss about locate and find. Also, we are going to discuss, and this chapter is completely about uh, searching, uh, searching tools. You can say searching tools, like searching files, folders, and uh, searching content of the file, like searching with the different criteria for files. We have in this chapter regular expressions with grep. So. Like we have, let us say, uh, how can we search for files? We can search for files in three ways. One is one way is search. Uh, okay, search with the complete file name. Complete file name. Search with complete file name. Like if complete file name matches, then only show the result. And one more thing is search if part of the file name matches. If the part of the file name matches, because we, I am not sure about the complete file name. The next one is search with the Content of the file. If I am not sure about the file name, I will go with content of the file. So this is how we search for the files. And uh, still we are doing uh, system administration only. In SA2 also we have system administration uh, tools. And this chapter is about administration only, like uh, how we, how we can search for the files and uh, folders. And how can we look at them? How can we find the content of the file? Like searching skills are given in this chapter. So these are the three ways we can search for files. One is search with content of the file. Search if part of the file name matches. Search with complete file name. So three ways like grep. If you see what is grep, search for strings in a file in a file or group of files in one file or group of files it will search for a string means the first one search with the content of the file that is done by grep command 
it's a command actually grep command it will search for string strings in a file or group of files and if you observe here grep will result the grep will result the lines which which are having the matching strings grep will result the lines which are having the matching strings like uh, let me say if i want to find if i want to find root this word i want to find let me say i want to find this word in one file i want to find so what is the result i will get is so in which in which line there is a match that line is displayed completely let me say this root x 0 0 something like this we have this entry suppose so this complete line it displays this complete line it displays like if we try this grep command grep root slash etc slash pass wd the result is this is the result of course we'll do practically so grep will result the lines the lines which are having the matching string matching string here here that the lines are displayed as output and uh, to get more comfortable results we are going to use regular expressions also regular expressions also we are going to use uh, the regular expressions are like uh, uh, dot star and uh, and you can see this uh, cap symbol and uh, you see the dollar symbol and uh, like this symbol set these all symbols we are going to combine with grep so we are going to use these symbols also so that we can find efficiently more comfortable results we can get more comfortable means like uh, suppose if I example I am telling example if I if I say cap root etc pass w what happens grep search for root which is at the beginning of the line at the beginning of the line in this file so in this file it will search if there is a line which is starting with root cap symbol means starting with root any line starting with root like we are going to get like we can use dollar also it's a it's a different for different reason and cap symbol star like we are all we will try now all these things we will get more comfortable results with this regular expression that's why it is given regular ex expressions with grep these regular expressions are used with the grep command so that we will get more comfortable results so this is like uh, what we can do with the grep we will search with the content of the file like the content is root you are searching in the file and of course we can try this also like in a group of files means we should say minus r so what we are trying to find is root we are trying to find in the entire folder etc so whatever files are there in etc in those files it will search for root so here r we use in case this is a folder in this case it is a file etc password is a file we don't use r here but it's a folder we use r here r for recursive where r stands for recursive now let's see what is locate locate you can see the second one search if part of the file name matches so locate is used if you want if you are not uh, if you don't if you don't know the complete 
name of the file. If we don't know the complete name of the file, we know a part of the file name, and you want to search. So this is this locate command is useful. You can use the command locate space past. Like there is a file which is past already. So I am trying to find not only under etc. But the past body file exists somewhere else. So the locate command will show all possibilities, all results. We can go right here, locate, finds, otherwise, searches for files if part of the part of the file name. Matches and uh, it searches for files in a database. In a database, actually there is a database where m locate m locate dot db. There is a database. It searches in the database, not in the file system. It will search in the database, and this database contains mlocate.db contains how many files are there in this machine, like in which locations they are available, what are their size, name. The complete information is there in this database. Complete file system information we have in this database. And this database is going to be updated every 24 hours. There is a cron job which will, which will update this database for every 24 hours. So why locate will see the database not in the file system? Because searching in the database is faster than searching in the file system. Like uh, if you are if you are trying to search for this file past wd it has to go to etc, it has to go to where, it has to go to boot, like everywhere it has to go and search, it will take time. But if we, if it searches in the database, it can search it quickly. Quickly it can search it. So that's why locate always looks for the database. That means suppose let, let, let me create a file now, but it is updated after 24 hours only. So locate will not find it immediately. We should wait for 24 hours, then only after 24 hours only the files are updated, then only locate will work. But there's the command to update instantly. Use the command update db. This command will update immediately. This command is going to update immediately the database. So, so that is what locate will do. Locate will search for the files if part of the file name matches and it will search in the database. Database uh, which is already written like in the in a structure, in the in the structure format, we have the files and the locations given. So it can search quickly for the files if it refer the database that's why locate will go to database for searching but we have one more very useful tool find and uh, it will search with the complete file name matches so find will find will search if complete name of file matches but we have an advantage here we can find with the type of files type of files like we have normal text files binary files uh, executable files we have link files we have block files device files uh, we can find with the type of the files and we can find we can find with the name of the file 
name of the files and uh, we can we can find with the size of the file like uh, which files are having 2 MB size and we can we can find with the uh, permissions of the file permissions of file like which files are having 0 0 permissions in the file system we can find with username group name we can find with username group name and uh, modified time based on modified time we can find and based on I don't number we can find and so on so we can find in different ways whereas locate will find with only name of the files we can search but here you can find with the user names like who like uh, John created so many files in the file system it will search all the files like uh, there is a group called red hat and uh, which which files are having red hat group those all files we can see based on the modified time we can find the name files I don't know number also we can find the files so find is more useful in the remaining and uh, find will search in the actual file system not in the database like locate will search in the database but find will search in the actual database unlike online search we can say online search it's offline search locate offline search but it is faster locate is faster than find let us try these comments now one by one you we'll try grab locate find one by one okay so i am here in server zero machine i am working in this machine so i will try first grip you will see what happens if i say etc fast already yeah this is output like lines which are having the uh, strings root 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 are displayed two lines are having the matching the strings matching in the etc master blue file we want to find with the line numbers like which lines are line numbers of these lines like this is the first line this is the temple line numbers will get and uh, if I use this cap symbol first line only Match starting with root, but not tenth line is starting with root. So which are starting with root? And uh, you can see R option you can use in case you want to find in the folder itself. Folder itself you want to find. There are so many files. etc cups cups files dot com. There is a line matching in this file. This line is matching. And in this file, there is a line with this string. There is a line. If we have add here an n option, n, we'll get line numbers also. Right? In which file, which line number is having a match? It is grep minus nr root dc and uh, I'll try to create a file and I'll write something like this. Hello. Hello. Oh. 
So just I'm creating a file, sample file, we'll try and grab on this now. Uh, okay, let it be. Let it be. C D T C D T C D T C, C X T C Y T. Okay, like this something I, I wrote down like this. So let me try now grab C A T on file. I say grab cat. You can see cat, 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 cat. Cat, but here this is not cat cats. Do one thing you can do is if complete if it completely matches all this is not completely matching. This is actually cat. This is this should not be in the output. So W means all like if completely it matches then only. And uh, let's let us say and if you want to search if cat is if a line start, starting with cat if any line ending with cat sorry if lines ending with cat there is one line ending with cat and uh, grep c.t c.t15 means like uh, there is one letter between C and T only one letter C T one letter one letter between C and T there is only one letter yes they say C dot dot T there are two letters between C and T three matches two letters between C and T possibly those letters are one letter is A, one letter is B, possibly. Yeah, there is only one match, one letter is A, one letter is B. Here A, B, here also A, B. Okay. I try to do one thing. One, I'll go to the file right here, like C A B T C B K T. Fine. We'll see now. And uh, in this case, C A B T C A B T. Like second letter should be B only. Second letter should be. Only. And uh, first letter also be no, there's no match. Second letter can be A also. Yes. Second letter can be A also. First letter is B. Second letter can be either B or A. So like uh, we, we can search with uh, different uh, conditions we can search. And of course we can search uh, with the two criteria, I want to search both cat and dog. Both I am searching. Like with the E option, we can search more than one. So as of now, we are trying to use grep uh, with this uh, regular expressions like uh, we used right above. And uh, in a file, we are searching. But of course, we can do this also. Cat, then grep. Like this is same. These both are same. 
you can observe this result is same with this, this result so what i am doing actually i am listing the file in the output i am searching for doc with the pipe symbol so whatever output i am getting that is redirected with the pipe symbol this is called as piping the pipe symbol which will pipe the output of this command is piped to this command as input piped as an input for this command so this command will search dog in the output so same thing what this command is doing it was searching for dog in the file both are same in this case like sometimes we can search in the output also this is useful in this case ls grep uh, is there any file with the letter a yes there are files with the letter a like the ls command in the output it is searching for this so grep command is useful not only search in the file but in the output also in the output of a command also it can search something so that is the use of this grep command and uh, but you can see this is also very helpful grep bin bash in etc passed away so i want to search bin bash in etc passed away so i am going to get the result like uh, this line this line there are two lines like root user student user these both are using bin bash shell so like this we can find how many users are using bin bash how many are not using invert search minus b means invert search so here you can find these users are not using bin bash there are so many users these all users are have see has been no login has been no login so there is no bin bash in this output no bin bash okay so in this result there is no bin bash you can find so other than bin bash so these many users are not using bin bash we can count also we can count them pipe w minus l w minus l sorry it's not wc minus l this is actually like wc is a word count the command word count will check how many lines are there how many lines are there wc is a command called word count it will see how many lines are there it will check all these lines it will count the line numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 all these all these lines it counts it tells that okay 37 lines are there means 37 users are there here bin bash only two users are there so i got two numbers here right you can search total number of lines results wc minus l word count wc minus l if you say uh, etc passed away in this file how many lines are there 39 lines are there that's your plus 39 so word count is a command which will search for number of lines in a file of course number of words also you can say there are this many words this there are this many characters and uh, wc just wc we show you all this lines words characters in this file okay so grep can be used like this also now we will see what is locate locate pass wd we we'll just say locate pass wd we can see the locate pass wd oh is throwing an error the error is where lib mlocate mlocate.db is not exists i just resetted this machine just now so i should wait 24 hours for this database to be updated so as of now the database is not created yet and do ls sorry ls where
Then we amlocate amlocate dot amlocate sorry amlocate it's not there it's not there I'll use this command update db instantly it will create the database done it's there now you can say locate password db will work now the error was valid mlocate mlocate db no such file so i did this update db and uh, immediately i got this file of database file now locate will work we can see the output is like past wd sap past wd here it, it's matching here it's matching here so whatever part matches it will show that come that file name if any part of the file name matches it shows starting ending middle like wherever it may be and the locate is faster locate is faster one option we can use is i i means ignore case ignore case like uh, this may be calculated as one letter whatever it may be it will not check the case of course no results so we better like uh, if we are not sure about the case small r capital we use uh, minus i where it ignores the case done only that option is uh, useful here so but we have many advantages with find command find command is very useful like i want to search in this etc folder with the name passwd only two files are there and etc folder there is only there are only two files passwd we can observe this complete name is matching now complete name is matching so find always will search with the complete file name and if you say in the entire file system the entire file system okay these are all the files with the name passed already and uh, among all i want to see the type only d directories only i want to find out so here type d means directories as we have observed in the earlier classes and the i think it's the beginning of the classes like we observed that if any file starting with the d it's a directory and uh, for uh, link files we have different uh, files like directories link files and uh, character files block files so here d for directories so there is a directory called sys fss linux class so this is a directory actually name is matching and also it's a directory so we can mention the type also here and um, suppose uh, in case we want to find the block files before block files and i'll remove this name i'm not sure about the name but i want to know the block files in this file system yeah there are three blocks block file is nothing but hard disks there is a hard disk vdvdb there is a hard disk vda and there is a partition also vda1 like uh, i am going to search the block files available in the machine so like uh, let us say if we are connected a pen drive we can we can see here in this output sda sdc something like we can observe here and we can mount it sometimes what happens when we connect the pen drive it will not automatically mount and uh, we have to manually mount that time this is very useful like we can find it first uh, what is the name it has detected with cds sdc or sdb whatever it may be we can see here that we can uh, use the command mount to manually mount it so let me create a folder called data and i will go there and i will create some files i will create some files file 1 file 2 
I three something like and uh, you can see all the files you do one thing ch own student where the user student and uh, ch gr file you can see just i change this username and group name if i say find in data folder if group name is student yeah file 2 we have a group name as student if username is student it's file 1 which is having username as student file file uh, student yes like uh, we can find with usernames and group names also usernames and group names also and uh, let us say ch more and um, ch more Six 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 file one the file one got six 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 permissions and uh, yes more zero 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 let us say file two so yes more six zero 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 file three. Let us try and data folder if permissions are zero 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 file two if permissions are six 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 if permissions are six zero zero like we can find with permissions also. And uh, the entire file system, not only here, but in the entire file system, you can find. So these are the files: Deep Shadow, Deep Shadow, and uh, Chrome dot reboot. These are the files which are having no permissions, zero permissions, zero permissions for this. In the entire file system, we are trying to find with permissions and. Uh, can find the entire file system yeah. like uh, what files are modified in the last one minute so these are all the files these are all the files modified in the last one minute let me create a file file 4 so I created in this data folder just now I created so I will uh, again say find Modified minutes minus one means less than a minute. Less than a minute. The files modified less than a minute. Yeah, we got this data folder modified and uh, the folder folder file for modified or created, whatever it may be, it will show. And uh, modified time last one hour. The files which are mod modified from last one hour. M time means hours so these are all the files modified from last one hour so these are all the files file one two three all files modified from last one hour and uh, let me sorry let me say actually we need to discuss about uh, linking files we'll discuss in a separate chapter about how to link a, link a file but uh, let me try this file one i am going to have a link in the boot folder uh, there i will uh, i'll i'll say amruta these two files are having got links now if i see uh, here file one got a different color at the same time i'll check the iron number of file one iron number this is iron number i got and uh, find the entire file system with i know number where the i know number is i am now trying to find out with i know number i am now trying with finding i know numbers with i know numbers you can see in data folder we have file 1 this i know number and also in the boot also 
Amruta. That means whenever we create hard links, ln means hard link. What is hard link? We'll discuss later. ln will create a hard link from file one to Amruta. So when it creates, it creates with the same iron number. Same iron number. So we got same iron numbers for these both files. Can check it. I don't know, but you can check for this file, and for this file also you can check I don't know. Then both are got the same. So we can find the I don't know also. So, so this is what we can do with the. Uh, So what are the uses with find command? Type of the file, name, size, permissions, username, group name, modified time, I don't remember. Size. Like if there is any file, there is any file with the uh, there are so many files. Size 1.3 MB, but actually we, we don't get exact size here. I, I want 2 MB, but uh, it will not get exact size here. Actually. Less than 2 MB we get. In case if we say 3 MB, 3 MB are less than 3 MB files we can see here. LL minus SH. 3 MB are less than 3 MB. Like, 3 MB means 3 MB are less than 2 MB. Okay, so these are the ways you can find the files with the find command locate and grep. So this is what we have in this chapter.